Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the symmetry of a regular six-pointed star with six pointed vertices as shown. One, two, three, four, five, six. Using the numbering of the location of the six vertices, write down the elements of G as permutation in cycle form. Symmetry of this figure consists of rotation. So what are the rotation about the center? So one possible rotation is rotation of zero degree about the center. And this symmetry is the identity symmetry, which is E. E will fix the vertices 1, stay at 1, 2, stay at 2, 3, stay at 3, 4, stay at 4, 5, stay at 5, 6, stay with 6. Now, other than rotation zero degree, another possibility of rotating symmetry is rotation of 60 degree. If you join the vertex 1 to the center and 2, you find that this will be a symmetry if you rotate 60 degree. So rotation of 60 degree and decodewise about the center. Let's call this rotation R. So in this case, this rotation can be written as the vertex at 1 will move to 2, the vertex at 2 will move to 3, the vertex at 3 will move to 4, the vertex at 4 will move to 5, the vertex at 5 will move to 6, and vertex at 6 move to 1. Therefore, you have close. This rotation of 60 degree and decodewise. Another rotation is consider rotation of 120 degree and another 60 degree, which is so 120 degree and decodewise. Then, in, this is actually R square. Since R is rotation of 60 degrees, so repeat two times is R square now. And this will be the rotation of 120 degree. Vertex at 1 will move to 3. And then vertex at 3 will move to 5. And vertex at 5 will move to 1. So you have a 3 cycle close. And similarly, vertex at 2 will move to 4 after rotation of 120 degree. So vertex at 2 will move to 4. And vertex at 4 will move to 6. Takes the move to 2 and so the cycle close. Next, rotation of another 60 degree, which is 180 degree and decodewise. That means this is R cube overly because R is rotation 60 degrees. So you apply it three times. Apply R three times, you are rotating 180 degrees. So then the vertex at 1 will move to 4. And vertex at 4 will move back to 1. And vertex at 2 will move to 5. And vertex at 5 will move back to 2. And vertex at 3 will move to 6. Vertex at 6 will move back to 3. So this is R cube. So including identity, I have four rotation already. Let's try two more, which is rotation of another 60 degree, which is 240 degree and decodewise. Now, this is the same as rotation of 120 degree clockwise. And this is actually is the same as rotation R applied four times. And what is it equal to? This time, if you rotate 240 degree anti-clockwise, which is the same as rotation of 120 degree clockwise, then we know that you have 1 after 120 degree or move to 5. Then 5 or move to 3, 3 and go back to 1. Then 2 after 120 degree clockwise, 2 will move to 6. And 6 and move to 4, and 4 and go back to 2. 
Then another will be additional 60 degree, which is 300 degree now, anti-clockwise, which is the same as 60 degree clockwise. Now this is the same as rotating 60 degree 5 times, so r power 5. And it has it can be done in this way. 1 will go to 6, 6 will go to 5, 5 will go to 4, 4 will go to 3, 3 will go to 2, 2 will go back to 1. So close. So these are the 6 rotation. 1 E, R, R square, R cube, R fourth, R fifth. Rotation symmetry all together, there are 6 of them. Let's investigate the reflection symmetry. Now, reflection symmetry, let's try to do a reflection. There's a reflection in the line, joining the vertex. So, for example, you can do a reflection in a line joining vertex 1 and 4. Let's call this reflection mu 1. So, in this reflection, 2 will reflect to 6, location. 2 will move to 6, and 6 go to 2, 3 to 5, 5 go to 3, 1 and 4 stay put. Another reflection, which is here, drawing the vertex, 2 and 5, let's call this reflection mu 2. In this reflection, vertex at 1 will move to 3, and 3 reflect to 1. Vertex at 4 will move to 6, and 6 move to 4, and 2 and 5 will stay put. And then, there's another re reflection, axis of reflection is joining the vertex 3 and 6. So let's call this reflection mu 3. This time, this time, under this reflection, 1 and 5 will interchange. 1 more to 5, 5 more to 1, and 2 more to 4, and 4 more to 2, and 3 and 6 stay put. So there are 3 reflections in this direction. Now there are actually 3 more reflections. Where are they? The 3 more reflections, one of them is joining the midpoint in the middle of 1, 2, and 4, 5. So if you do this reflection, let's call it mu 4 here, then we know. 1 and 2 will interchange, 3 and 6 will interchange, 4 and 5 will interchange after this reflection. Now there's also another reflection in the, in the line joining the middle of 2, 3 and 5, 6. Let's call this reflection mu 5. Then under mu 5, 1 and 4 will interchange. 2 and 3 will interchange, 5 and 6 will interchange. Now, beside this, there is one more reflection. The axis is a line joining the middle of 3, 4 and the middle of 1, 6. So, let's call this reflection mu 6 here. So, under this reflection, 1 and 6 will interchange, 2 and 5 will interchange. 3 and 4 will interchange. So altogether, they are 6 reflection mu 1 to mu 6. So a total of 12 symmetry. There are 6 rotation and 6 reflection. So the size of G is equal to 12. That is the end of the recording.